Well, good morning, Redeemer Presbyterian Church, and welcome to our Sunday morning worship time together. We are so thankful for the many of you that showed up to our in-person gatherings the last two weeks. We were able to serve roughly a hundred of you during those services together, just worshiping together, being in the Word, celebrating the Lord's Supper, and just being strengthened and encouraged by the body of Christ. So we want to thank all of you that were able to make it out. We have scheduled in the month of September some more additional services. We hope to serve many more of you as we will be expanding to 30 people per service. And so look up uh, for the uh, details on how to sign up and how to get all that together in the upcoming days and weeks ahead as we look forward to be able to be together as the body of Christ soon. Uh, just to give you assurances that our elders and deacons and our staff are discussing about ways in which we can move forward uh, in the upcoming days, weeks, and months ahead. And we ask that you continue just to be patient with us as we seek to uh, keep the safety of the body as well as just being wise about reopening during these unprecedented times. Um, for the next two weeks, I will be preaching, and uh, before we get into uh, Pastor Craig, into our next series, uh, we want to explore what it means to worship in the waiting. And I know for many of us right now, this is an impatient time, but for all of us here uh, who are just wrestling through this together, how do we worship the Lord in our waiting? And so that will be what we will be talking about today. Let's go to our call to worship as we go to the Lord, as we are strengthened by him in his word together. This is Psalm 27, starting from verse 7. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, seek my face. My heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. Hide not your face from me. Turn not your servant away in anger, O you who have been my help. Cast me not off, forsake me not, O God of my salvation. For my father and mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out violence. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. And let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. 